For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Stand there. Whatsoever is born of God. Hallelujah. All of you sitting here, you were born again by only one way. Only one way. If you are genuinely born again, only one way. You used only one currency, only one medium. Why you are born again, you, you were born again by or through what? Faith. You were told about Jesus. You've never seen Jesus in your life. You've never on earth touched Jesus with your hand. And you did not even care to pay, book your flight, go to Israel, and look at all those places they say Jesus was living. They just told you about Jesus, and you believed. Not just believing. You started going to church. You started dressing, wear your clothes, and go to church every Sunday. Now, not just that. You started putting offering. You started donating. Faith. Now, you were born again out of faith. And if you are born again out of faith, if it is through faith that you receive salvation, the Bible said that you are born of God. Can you stay on that scripture? Now, whosoever, whatsoever, that is born of God, that is, that believes in Jesus by faith, that accepts Christ by faith, whatsoever overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. And it is this same church I told you that there is a difference between believing and knowing. Faith is more than believing. The first time you heard the story about Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, the first thing you did was to believe the story. You believe the story. And when you continue in that belief, gradually, as you hear God's word, and as you practice the word of God, that belief becomes, turns into faith. What is the difference between belief and, and faith? I did that illustration. Now I want to use you for illustration. Just like we did the other day. What is your name? Unyeme George. Now watch. This man's name is Unyeme George. Now, if I ask him, do you believe that your name is Unyeme George? He will say no. This is the illustration we did the other day. Now, at this point, he doesn't need to believe that that is his name. Why? Why does he not? He doesn't need to believe because he, he knows. Go and sit down. He knows that his name is Unyeme George. So he doesn't need to believe again. So the first time you talk to somebody about Jesus, what happens is belief. So I believe that Jesus died for me on the cross. You did not see him. You were not there. You, none of your parents were there. But they just told you that Jesus died for your sins. And you believe. The Bible says that that simple act of believing gives you eternal life. You believe it. But along the line, as you began to believe, after one year or two years, based on your work with 
that your belief. Based on your work with God, you begin to see how he supplies your needs. You begin to see how he delivers you from accident. You begin to see how he rescues you. You begin to see how he heals you. You begin to see everything they told you about God walking around you. You now come to a full conviction that I now know I now know I no longer need to believe I am now knowing and the process of knowing when you know something the, ne the next action the, the, you know the, 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 lo the laws of thought says whatever a man thinketh so is that man when the law of thought because this thing you have known it it becomes part of your life the next action that you begin to take based on what you know that action is called faith you don't need to believe that this chair will carry you you just come to church and you sit down swai without checking the chair you did not check this chair None of you here check whether this stray can carry you. You just come because you know, you know based on your experience for the past 20 years of your life since you started seeing how chair look like. The, the concept of chair has entered into your spirit. You can swear that chair cannot fail. You can swear with your life Unconsciously, you just come, they stay on the, you just sit down, from without checking. Now, a lot of you trust in ordinary chair more than God. Hello, sir. The difference between that you're believing in Christ and faith, faith, faith. Faith is as a result of what you know. You don't need any conviction. You don't need any preaching. You don't need anything, anybody. Because you know. No. This is the same God that delivered me three months ago. When my car pulled out of the tire and all of a sudden there was no casualty. This is the same God that delivered me three years ago, ten years ago, five years ago, when I was squatting with my friend. And did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Based on all these experiences you've had in your lifetime. This is the same God that when I need school fee, I go and pray and say, Father, help me, help me, help me. All through my years in school, I cry to God. This is the same God that was there whenever I call. All these years of experience sums up to make you know your God. That's what the Bible says. That it is not they that believe in God that will make exploit. It is they that know their God shall do exploit. It is not they that believe in God. If you believe in God, you are a candidate of heaven. You are saved for life. If you believe in God, the Bible says, whosoever believes in him receives eternal life. If you believe, ordinary believing, whosoever believes in God, you receive eternal life. That's what the scripture says. But when you have to do with taking things, claiming inheritance of the earth, taking things that was designed to be yours, but is currently managed and ruled by the world, you have to employ the simple currency and tool of faith. Can you stay on John chapter 5 verse 4? First John. First John chapter 5 verse 4. For it is by this faith, whatever is born of God, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith The action.
actions that you take based on what you know about God. The necessary actions that you take based on what you know about God. That is faith. That actions you take. In Hebrew 11, the whole of that chapter. It is through faith that Abraham, when he was called to leave his father's house, he left his father's house without knowing where he was going. He left the father's house without being told of the future where he was going. Can somebody run to Hebrews chapter 11? Let us look at actions that is accompanied by Hebrews chapter 11. Let's go through from verse 5 down. Let's go through from verse 5. Hebrews chapter 11. Now, this is Enoch. Church, church, listen, listen. For it is by faith that Enoch was translated that he should not see that and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God somebody dedicated his entire life to live for God that is an act of faith 